welcome to Lego Tales. And today is a Timo review. Now this is a Ice Claws Bear Mech um, exclusive poly bag at Target. I found it at my Target like just the day it had been released. So it's pretty awesome. This comes with an exclusive Ice Claw minifigure. This is the only current bear minifigure we will be getting. But in 2015, we'll be getting some bear sets. So I'm super excited for that. We'll be getting ice bear sets and regular sleep, all loved sleepy bear sets. Anyway, this is ages 6 to 12, set number 30256. 39 pieces and comes with one minifigure. As you can see, there's the back. I'm going to open it up real quick. See what's inside. See what's pretty for us. Here's the instruction um, booklet or pamphlet or whatever you want to call it. Gives you instructions. That's cool. All right, we're gonna take a look at. We're gonna build the mini figure here, not in time lapse, just so we can get a nice uh, look at him. Oh wow, I love those legs. No. No double sided face on this mini figure, even though it does look like he has some back um does look like he has some back um printing on his head, but no double sided face. I don't see why they did put printing on the back if it's hidden behind here anyway. But oh, that's a cool mini figure. And then it does not come with a weapon. He just comes with some chi, so I guess he's just a growl and rowl type, so. There is your minifigure. His name is Ice Claw. We'll take a look at him real quick. Move him around. There's his back torso printing. His leg printing is very detailed. Chi piece. Comes with, um, his uh, torso printing is very nice. And his head piece is really nice and detailed, too. There's his face. It's nice and detailed as well. And then the back of his head, which I don't doesn't need to be detailed because it's going to be hidden behind this anyway. But um, if Lego wants to waste their time doing stuff like that, then that's fine with me. There is Ice Cloth. Well, now let's do the time lapse for this little bear mechanism. All right, here is the um, bear mech. Um, now. I was going to do a time-lapse build of the mech when I was building it, but in the middle of my build, the time-lapse app shut down on me, so I unfortunately cannot have a time-lapse video or a time-lapse section in this video, so I'm super sorry about that, but without further ado, here's the mech. Let's see, well, first you have movable hands right here on the joints, and then you do have movable arms up here. Then these do turn out like this, so you can fit the minifigure in there. So you can see there are no studs to hold down Ice Claw. And here is Ice Claw. We'll review him in a minute. But first, we're going to put him in the mech. And this is a very cool minifigure. He's very perfect. When I got him, he was in perfect condition and everything, so that's awesome. And so we put minifigure in there. Close the thing on him. And there's his arms. And there's Ice Claw in his bear mech. Now, it is very, very cool looking bear mech, especially for a poly bag now. This is probably one of the best Chima poly bags released now, in my opinion. Definitely better like than the Eagle one and that. But there's the back. As you can see, he has no back protection right there, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, someone could just shoot him in the back or something. That would be bad. And then he does have... Um, his feet, they are on ball joints, and they do move side to side, and they kind of do move up and down a little bit, but not that much. But there is Ice Claw and his movable arms. As you see the trans blue right there, he has trans blue in the feet. He has those nice claws for the um, feet and the nice claws for the hands. And... You see he has some nice fighting motions. He can do some karate. Do a sidekick. See? Sidekick! Yeah! Anyway, he can do a sidekick. He can slice people with his claws. The only thing I would have liked about this um, mech is um, 
if the um, arms and hands moved up and down because they don't, they just moved side to side. So it would be nice if they moved up and down, but not for this one. They just moved side to side. And there is Ice Claw's Bear Mech. Now let's take him out of the Bear Mech and just look at Ice Claw individually. And then in this poly bag, it does come with a chi piece. So that's always nice to get another chi piece to add to your collection. And um, so you can see he has a nice trans um, blue leg. Very nice trans blue leg. And um, no trans arms, no printing on the arms, but it does have gray arms white arms and then he has white leg with nice printing on the leg so you can see there's like a little dress piece kind of you can kind of see art marks out oh sorry i don't know i lost my language all of a sudden marks on the legs then you can see his ribs on the inside it's a rib cage then he does have the cheap piece right there it's, um, the metal gold thing right there this is belt and he has some nice printing on that um, headpiece that's very nice printing and the printing on the back is very nice too he does have that printing on both sides I'll take a look at the head itself as you can see he looks a lot more meaner and aggressive without his headpiece on when he has his headpiece on he actually looks kind of cute but then when you take your headpiece off he's mean so there's the face and there is some back printing on the face it's like a little bit of a markings for the skull or whatever and there is ice claw now what do i think of this little poly bag very good price cost 3.99 so very good price there it does come with a nice amount of pieces so it's a very good deal there um the minifigure is exclusive currently i do not see any sets that come with this minifigure in 2015's um, summer wave or spring wave, whatever, I do not see any more Ice Claw minifigures, so I think this might be the only way to get them. And here is the instruction manual, real quick, I'll show you that. Yes, oh, it does have the instructions on how to build it. And on the back, just more instructions. You can see you have the nice you know, thing right there. And there is the instruction manual. Now, out of 10, I'm going to give this set a 9. The build is awesome. The minifigure is awesome. The only thing I don't like about this is the arms don't move up and down, and there's really no protection back here. But besides that, it's not that bad. Also, another thing is the legs don't move up and down. They only move side to side. They do move, like, maybe very, very little. Like, like 10, 10 eighths of a inch but they don't move up and down that much they don't even de they definitely don't move up and down enough to make it look make it look like it's walking so they only move side to side so that's my only problem with the sets the arms don't move up and down the legs don't move up and down and there's no protection in the back but that's my only problems they're not major they're just small little problems and this isn't cheap price nice poly bags not meant to be perfect but it is pretty awesome anyway like this video, subscribe if you haven't, add this video to your favorites. What do you think of the Ice Claws Bear Mac and Bear Mech? And especially, what do you think of Ice Claw himself? Now, Ice Claw's awesome. And in my opinion, I am very excited. Personally, I am very excited to finally get a bear minifigure. There will be a lot more bears released next year, which I'm excited for because I love the bears. But anyway... Like, subscribe, leave a comment, add to favorite, and I'll see you next time here on LEGO Tales TV.